Hey fellow Schneider drivers, friendly Bill coming at you. I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, it's been crazy, uh, super busy, time at home with my kids, uh, all kinds of craziness. Uh, but I'm back on the road um, and uh, some came across. Uh, I just want to read this quickly um, from Schneider's CEO, Mark Rourke, sent out this message to all Schneider employees. And I want to read it. Dear Schneider community, the killings of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Breonna Taylor in Louisville, and Ahmaud Aubrey in Glen County, Georgia, represent only the latest examples of a tragic legacy of violence toward black and brown people in the United States. Make no mistake, this pattern of violence has been fueled by systematic racism, which has led to death in these and many other cases. Like you, the people across the nation, my family and I continue to feel deep sorrow over these deaths. To associates of color and their families, please know that Schneider acknowledges the emotional trauma that the deaths of these unarmed black people have undoubtedly had on you personally. We should all be angered at such evil acts which demonstrate a deplorable and reckless disregard for the sanctity of black lives. Continue to be committed in our communities. The U.S. Constitution and the tenets of many religious faiths assert that we are all created equally and entitled to equal protection under the law. Despite that promise, systematic racism continues to thrive and the result is disparity, violence, and death. To do our part to help remedy this imbalance, we have much work to do. As CEO and a white man, I recognize that I need to be an active, honest, and self-aware listener and participant in that work, as do all people in the Schneider community. Our associates can be leaders in the efforts to create racial justice and peace in our world, but only if we are willing to engage in challenging conversations about race inequality. At this time, as we remember George, Brianna, and Ahmad, may we continue our mission as one Schneider community and enter without fear into those difficult conversations that will build bridges within our organization, within our neighborhoods, and within our faith communities. I encourage all associates to join me in standing side by side in solidarity with the black community and working to create a world where all are valued and treated equally. I look forward to growing personally through this process and engaging with my leadership team and the broader Schneider community. There are already preliminary plans being made for some initial actions. But I also want to hear from you on how Schneider might be better serve might better serve as a leader or model of equality on this issue. I encourage you to reflect on this message and send me your thoughts and suggestions at diversityfeedback at Schneider.com. Sincerely, Mark Rourke, President and CEO of Schneider. Now, it is obvious what uh, the CEO of Schneider, Mark Rourke's position is on this issue. When I read this, uh, it, it, to me, it, it says, to me, it doesn't get much clearer on what Schneider's position is on this. It, how, it can't get much more clearer than that that letter. I don't get political. I don't... My opinions I don't really put on this channel. I try to have facts and, and useful information. And reading this letter, it's a fact that the CEO sent this out to all Schneider employees. It's a fact that he made the statement. I don't know what's going on in other companies.
it's just something to consider. Um, I'm not going to go much more into this. Um, I just wanted to read that letter and I think it speaks for itself. So that being said, friendly Bill, catch you on the flip.